I reinforce the spindle for the table saw by soldering copper wires onto the bearing holders. I am gluing a small block on which will be the motor fastened. Now I need to make holes in the frame for linear shafts. I made paper templates which will help me to make the precise pieces for adjusting the shafts. For these pieces I use an old laminate flooring, I have lots of it in my stack. Here I have 8mm shaft put perfectly in the center in both holes. This will give me the reference point for drilling the other holes. I am using shafts from broken printers. Unfortunately, the second shaft I found only with the diameter 6mm and is even shorter than the 8mm one. So with this improvised cutter I am going to make holders in which the shorter shaft can sit and also can be slightly adjusted. On this build I am going to use this sheet of 9mm PVC material. This material melts quite quickly while cutting and makes working with it a little bit difficult but I have it for free from an unknown giver, so no complaints. When the extended pieces are done, I can test how much space I have for the adjustment of this shaft. Now I need to make the table which will also serve as a crosscut slot. For this I choose a 1.5mm thick piece of sheet metal. I will be able to adjust the sled by loosening these nuts and by moving these pieces. Off camera I shorten the metal plate and I cut off the slot for the saw blade into the plate. The table will be sliding on these two shafts like this. This piece of PVC will serve as a fence. I bought for 10 euro this caliper and now I need to disassemble it because it's going to be my holding mechanism for a stop block. For this purpose I need to modify the caliper. With a hacksaw I cut off unwanted pieces from the caliper. I marking where the holes for the attaching will be. This 
this was the only one hole which I was able to drill into this caliper. It's made from a very hard steel through which my drill bits were unable to cut. I switched from drilling to cutting slots because it worked. I want to have the fence removable, but at the same time I don't want to it could lose the alignment after being removed. For this purpose I'm making these alignment pins. I am attaching the modified caliper to the fence. Maybe it doesn't look nice, but the caliper is going to be very useful at quick and precise distance setting of the stop block. I'm making the stop block from the PVC material which I have and I'm attaching it onto the caliper with 2.5mm screws. Off camera I adjusted the stop block to the perfect 90 degree angle. I have reinforced the crosscut sled by adding these two pieces of metal. Here I realized that I don't have enough clearance above the motor. I'm drilling through the frame into the piece of the flooring which I've cut. In this place I am going to attach a transformer. Here you can see more clearly the method how I screw some parts together using screws, washers and nuts. I was lucky because I got this transformer from my friend who heard that I was looking for a transformer for this build. I want to have the transformer attached exactly here, but I need to grind off few millimeters from the platform because it happened that I didn't have enough place there. <laughs> 